about a year and a half ago, we did a project in the Baltic on a cruise liner called the Yogra, strangely enough, where well, we think we made the world's largest soundscape. Basically, we used the helipad of a, a cruise liner to create a big uh, surround sound rig, and we created a soundscape that the ship passed through, a virtual soundscape, um, that we extended from Helsinki to Mariheim to Stockholm to Mariheim to Tallinn, which involved thousands and thousands of sound files and this is basically this is basically a revision of that because we're doing it in our hometown the content's more specific and um, we are hoping to really show this and to demonstrate this to a kind of local Australian creative and scientific research culture. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Motor Vessel Regal. Bon voyage! <laughs> An audio and memory project. You are kindly requested to listen attentively. For example, it was an area where the idea was to bulldoze all the rocks, the oldest part of the Adopt European the brace Australia. position. And build 30 and 40 story buildings. If you discover the continent above mentioned, either in your run to the southward or to the westward as above directed, you are to employ yourself diligently in exploring as great an extent of the coast as you can. Sound moving, so listen to that. That's actually this sound moving back and forth across the bridge. <laughs> An American warship was in the harbour and actually fired at the submarines and managed to blow a bit of Fort Dixon off <laughs> by mistake. Never very good shots, the Americans. You are also carefully to observe the nature of the soil and the products thereof. The beasts and fowls that inhabit or frequent it. The fishes that are to be found in the rivers or upon the coast and in your plenty. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> My name is Josh Wolf. I'm a teacher in New York City. And I'm traveling with a group that's making a travel show for the Travel Channel in the US and across the world. But my part is to document my experiences as a New York City teacher and translate that to the schools that are partnered with Discovery. I think that tourism gets a bad name, but I think something like this, a project like this, can really merge technology with the environment with, you know what I mean, with tourism. You can do this, why not do this in the desert in, in Africa? Why not, why not do this in, in, you know, the Amazon River? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This can tell a broader story. Merging culture with the environment, with technology, with tourism. Sort of like, you know what? That's like 21st century ecotourism, maybe. Absolutely. Oh my God. I can get out of control with this. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Hey, look at that. We have little, little rafts next to the boat. Yeah! yeah! I hope it's as good for you as it is for me. Not to suffer yourself to be surprised, but to be always upon your guard against any accident. He's actually sitting uh, right under the Sydney Harbour Bridge there and I've just dropped this construction sound onto a trajectory. You can see the, the trajectory moving past. So that gives, that's giving you that kind of spatial specialisation. It's kind of dragging along and kind of approximately on the course of the bridge. Thank you.
trees um, are either relative to the sound stack so like you can have a sound circle like this with a trajectory going around and as you go across you, it sometimes kind of comes across you and fades and fades out or you can have it relative to the position of the listener or the boat so as you move across the sound stack the trajectory moves as well until, until you leave the sound stack then it turns off that one actually was a star shape so it's going around a star shape, so it gets further away, comes nearer, further away, comes nearer, and then goes around as it does that, so it kind of... I did. That's great. We it was, really enjoyed it. I thought it was tremendous. Um, yeah, you get lots of unexpected noises yeah. and you get a sort of a, a in, really interesting sort of history. I found it immersive because the history as well is you, you went along the wharfs, you picked up about the, the smallpox and, and the wharfies working all the hard and it was all, the whole Sydney, you know, it was all encompassing. Where are you going next? To Berlin to do a walk along the Berlin Wall and you didn't have yeah, it's, we've had years of experience now. What if, what, if, what if people have headphones that were like... We have that technology. You do? Yeah, we've done it. That's awesome. And then you can simulate the sort of center of spot, the sweet spot, and the thing that's moving. Yeah, no, we've done that. Um, yeah, so we can do this on a handheld.